Hi, this is Michelle. Welcome to Autopilot at Work, where I'll show you how to automate the mundane task at work. In the last video, I have shown you how to split Excel data into multiple worksheets based on column values. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the same data, but split them into multiple files. So I will have multiple worksheets and multiple files based on column values. So let's get right down into it. So this is the same Excel data that we used in the last video. So in the last video, we split the Excel data into multiple workbook sheets based on the region column. So in this video, I have added an additional column called salesperson. And this is the column that I'm going to look up to when I split the data into multiple Excel files. So we're going to reuse the workflow that we have created in the last video with an additional activities to split the data into different Excel file based on the salesperson. So there will be multiple Excel file and one for each salesperson. And then within the Excel file, we will have the information that belongs to that salesperson only. So if you want to check out the previous video and learn step by step how to create the workflow that split the data into multiple Excel sheets based on the column, please check out the video in the description section or somewhere in on the on the video for for the link to the to that video so this is the workflow we've created last time to split the excel data into multiple workbook sheets so from the top you can see we use the excel application scope to get the master excel file and then because in the master Excel file, we have a few workbook sheets. So we have to get all the workbook sheets and then we look through each sheet. So for each sheet within the list of sheets, which is the variable that we have given to the list of workbook sheets that we get from this activity. And then within each sheet, we read the range of that sheet, all the data within that sheet, and then we output it into a temporary data table called DTTEM. And then in the next activity, we initialize the main data table by cloning the DTTEM if um, the DT mean is empty. So, and then we merge the DT term into DT main for each sheet. So once it is added into the DT main, we clear the uh, temporary data table. So once we have all the data in the main table, we look through each row within the main table and then we output them into individual sheet by giving the name of the sheet based on the, the column region. And then also this is, um, and then in by outputting the DT main and also at the same time filter filter it by region. So we will use the same workflow. And then the only additional things that we're gonna do here is instead of outputting it into a single Excel file, we will split them into multiple files based on the salesperson. So what we need is because 
we will name we we'll need name for each file so we need the column of salesperson in a string so we need the value of that column in string just like the the region column which we we use we use to name the workbook sheet so we need another assign activity and then in this assign activity i'll just use a new variable called salesperson and then do a control k and then make sure salesperson is a string too and then the next thing is we'll take the role of the salesperson column and turn it into a string so each row of that column the value of of salesperson will be turned into a string and then the next step because we want to save them we want to save individual file as the salesperson so instead of a static name, we will use a dynamic name based on the salesperson column. So we'll use the variable that we just we've just created called salesperson. So now we will dynamically create one file per salesperson. And then because in the data table, we filter by regions. And now beside region, we need to filter by salesperson. So what we're going to do is add the salesperson filter. So now we this this is a filter for region only. So what we need is to add in another filter to filter the salesperson column. So I only want the region and the salesperson column that belongs to the salesperson of the file that I've created. So what we need to do is to add in another condition called N. So region and salesperson column of the salesperson. So we we'll need to get the column of the salesperson. equals single double quote plus salesperson variable that we created then double and single quote so save it so in this way this filtering criteria will just will filter both region and salesperson column. Let's run the workflow to see what output we're getting. Okay, let's check the folder. Voila, we have multiple Excel files um, belong one for each salesperson. So let's check Ken's file. And then we can see in Ken's file, we have multiple regions split into multiple Excel sheets. So in each Excel sheet, we can see the 
contract details of that region and of that salesperson. And then we can be sure all the contract all the contracts belong to that salesperson only, which is Ken here. So this is how you can automate this kind of Excel work. It will definitely save you tons of time if you do this quite often and you have to deal with a large amount of data. So definitely make full use of the UiPath workflow to automate this kind of mundane task. And all you need to do is to set up the workflow and it's just a matter of click of a button and then you can run away and do other more interesting things than the manual copy and paste and filtering and yeah so i hope that this video um helps you and and let me know what you think and let me know if you have any questions regarding this workflow um just comment down in the comment section and or ask me on the Facebook page. I'll respond to your queries and I'll also if you have any ideas, just let me know. I'll, I'll put it in the next video. Please like or subscribe so that I know um, you find this video useful and I can dedicate more time to make more of this type of videos um, in the future. So until then, ciao.